The second thing that I'm saying no to in 2017 is I'm saying no to my critics. I'll be honest, I don't really have a lot of critics, but I've started to develop a mindset where I'm responding to potential critics and it's changed my content. It's changed the way that my voice has come across, whether it's in my writing, like on Instagram or um, Facebook. And it's changed the way that I've shared, I've started to share here in some of my videos and I've caught myself and I've thought, Ugh, I don't want to be that. I don't want, because if I am talking to my critic, I'm not talking to my viewer. I'm not talking to my reader. They are on opposite thought patterns. You are here because you want to be here. You are here because you want to be encouraged. You want life-giving words. You're here because you like my family. You like me. You like what I'm sharing. Um, the critics are here to pick it apart, to pull it apart, to twist words, to take things and make them not what they ever were intended to be. And if I'm always speaking here, I can't be speaking here. And this is where I want to be. And I want to share good, good things. And I want to share who I am with you. And there will be people that, it, a, when I think of a critic, I'm not thinking of somebody who is a yes person. I know that at some point you may not agree with what I'm sharing and you may want to tell me that in a really healthy way. And that's okay. And that's good. And that's welcomed. We all have the right to disagree. And I welcome healthy conversations about things that we disagree about. What I will not allow is degrading comments, rude and mean and spiteful and hurtful things. And I'm so thankful that I've never had to deal with that on my channel. I think I've shared before that I fear that as, as my channel grows, that you, I will come across people who will be that way. Um, because pe some people just have a lot of ugly in their hearts and a lot of hurt. And um, they just want to tear down people who, I don't know, are opposite of them. And I will not allow that on my channel. If I find ugly things, you're deleted. Because I'm not speaking to you. You are not my audience. My audience is men and women who are here for positivity and joy and learning and who are in a space that they want to connect and share and do that in a healthy, uplifting sort of way. So I'm not talking to my critics anymore. They're out of my mind um, and they will stay out of my, my mind as I'm talking and sharing and my voice will become more clear and it will become more direct and it will become the voice of a person who wants to share genuinely what's on my heart. I don't want to water it down. I don't want to give you a weak version of whatever it is that I want to share with you um, because I wouldn't expect that from somebody that I'm tuning into, whether it's a blog post, whether it is an Instagram post. I want the real heart that someone wants to share. I want to know fully what they want to say. So I'm saying no to my critics in 2017. The last thing that I'm saying no to in 2017 is weak living. And I'll be honest, I think this is going to be the hardest <sighs> because I lack a lot of self-discipline. Um, there's some areas, of course, that I'm really self-disciplined about, but in all honesty, I struggle with weak living, with my health, with my habits, with, um, with trying to be better and do better. It's so much easier to stay in that comfortable space. So much easier, and I fight that. Um... <laughs> Uh, jokingly, a friend used to call me, he, he nicknamed me, <laughs> he nicknamed me late, lazily, um, because he used to call me late, like, think I was lazy, and it was funny, we were in Washington, D.C., and we were helping with, like, this inner city project, and one of the jobs that we had to do was we had to, haul, like, haul all this wood into this, um, air, like, the 
place where we were working and so the guy giving the wood from the truck like gave everybody like several big pieces of wood to carry and when it came my turn he handed me two little pieces of wood and that's kind of where the name stuck like I didn't ask that guy to give me two little pieces of wood and it was it was I don't know. It was kind of funny, but lazily. I I know. I'm a lazy person. And um, I want to be better in 2017 about living weekly. I want to be strong. I want to be physically strong. I want to have this be my healthiest year. Um, I want to quit the battle of fighting myself with my health. Um, I want to put myself back on that priority list of health and fitness and eating well and not to look a certain way but to feel a certain way. Um, I've started to take steps to make that happen. Part of it is I need to get my back put in place. I've struggled with a really bad back kind of since high school I had a back injury and it's landed me um, unable to walk at certain points in my life and um, I'm kind of coming back to that point where my back is really 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 hurting and I'm, I'm completely out of alignment like so hardcore it's unbelievable the last time I was going to the chiropractor um, I love manual manipulation but the chiropractor wouldn't even manually manipulate my neck because he said it was so far out of alignment that he needed to just use this little clicker thing um, for fear that I could be injured. So, and that was like three years ago. And um, I, so I'm going to the chiropractor. I'm getting, I'm getting my health back that way. I am implementing exercise. I... When I fall off the rut of exercising, it's really tough to get back on the bandwagon. When I'm in the middle of exercising and I've been doing it for several weeks, I love it and I crave it and I find myself exercising, but it's that first couple weeks of getting back into that routine of actually exercising, that's hard. <laughs> and living where I live, I mean, we've got snow people and ice, like it's dangerous to be out walking. Um, and so, it's, so to be outside to walk or run or do anything like that, that's just not on my radar for many more months. So it's all got to be indoors and um, with the, my back the way that it is, I need to be more cautious about some of the things that I'm doing. So I'm slowly getting back in. And then I want to be solid in my eating habits. Um, I love sugar, I love junk, and I want to be strong in those areas and I want to get solid on my Trim Healthy Mama plan and eat to nourish my body and to heal my body from the inside out from all of the damage that I have done to my body over the years and eating poorly. So those are some of the things and I want to be strong and diligent about being in my Bible every day and being in the Word and filling my mind with good things. It's so much easier, again, just to to languish and lounge in the garbage of whatever is just out there. Mindless, mind-numbing junk to escape. Like, whatever it is that you're kind of going through in life, it's so much easier. It's so much easier, but I don't want that weak living. I want to be strong mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And so I'm saying no to weak living in 2017. I know that some of these things are not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be a battle. If it was easy straight up, I already would have been doing them, but it's going to be tough. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to look back at the and when I'm on the other side of 2017, when it's December, I'm looking back at these moments and seeing where I've gone along the way and the path that it's taken me. So that's what I'm saying no to. Is there anything that you're saying no to in 2017? I would love, love, love to hear about it. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next video. Leave your comments and your thoughts down below. And I will respond as soon as I can. I love you guys and I hope you are having a really great day.